Alrighty, here we've got uh, Personality DX. Being played on Xbox Series X, courtesy of Radical Games Publisher. It's a pretty cool precision platformer. Um, that is a really quick, quick and fast paced game. So, one thing, one cool thing about this game is that if you come in here to levels, you see what levels you've played. Uh, there are a total of 80 levels. Uh, the black squares are the levels I haven't played yet. Now, I have gotten all the achievements, so I effectively, I believe, will beat the game at this point. Um, and uh, it's pretty fun. So, we start the game out, you start the first level, which gives you the controls, and then every level after that, excuse me, every level after the, after the first level, and maybe even the second level, um, are completely randomized. And every time you die, you start out at a, at a new level. I'll see what level it is at the bottom, and then that little uh, screen there, that will tell you, oops, uh, that will tell you um, how many consecutive levels you've beaten in that run without dying. Oh, come on. And it's, it's a lot of, the game's a lot of fun. It's very challenging, um, extremely challenging, actually. Uh, but it plays really well. Um... I like the graphics. I like the concept. What I don't like is the constant CRT uh, line effect. I'm sure you can see it in the in, in the in the recording there. Um, that's the game. That's not my TV. That's not the Xbox. That is the way the game is presenting itself. Um, it, it makes the game feel. I'm not going to say dated, because I, I know what they're going for here. I just I feel like it's not needed, or maybe that it can be optional. That, that, that's what I was going for. I, think, I, hope that, I wish it was optional, is what I was, that was going for there. It just makes it... It makes you sometimes feel like there's an issue with the game. Especially when you're on the menu right there. But, uh, but like I said, the game plays very well. Uh, it's fun. It's addictive. Um... And it is definitely fun. Now, some of the levels are, harder, are a lot harder than others. Um, some of them are very, very easy. And some of them are downright impossible to pass. Which is part of the reason why I have yet to play out the levels. Because some of the levels are just extremely hard to get through. Um... And some of the levels, uh, when you die, repeat themselves over and over again. So you can do the kind of like the first, like say, eight levels a lot if you don't consecutively beat them. Um, so something to uh, keep in mind there. Oh, I always miss that coin right there. Alright, so we're five. Oh, and when you, when you get to... A uh, point where you uh, beat what your previous score was, like your previous uh, room amount was, like if you got five, that's all you got, and you get to six, you have a crown above your head, um, and, <laughs> and that number becomes green. It's pretty cool. Uh, so my best is nine. And one thing I, I really kind of am curious about is how they get away with using the Mario coin sound. At least that's what I, I believe it sounds like. I thought it was going to be interesting. No. I should have jumped there. I should have jumped the other way. The, when it was the other way there. Yeah, see, that's, and that, right, that one right there, that seems impossible too. I mean, like I said, some of these levels just feel impossible to beat. Pick, pick, oh, especially this one. Maybe it might not actually not have been that one. Might have been one other one like it. There's one where you got those enemies that are going back and forth, and they come back really fast, and it's really hard to jump between them. <laughs> and that'll happen a lot too, where you're going to jump and you'll get just immediately killed. Uh, 
But yeah, overall, great game. Uh, Prison Little DX is a great precision platformer. It's a lot of fun. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is you can come in here to skins, and if you collect enough coins, you can unlock skins. Um, here are all the different skins. I guess one right here is my favorite. Because this one reminds me of, uh, of Gur from uh, Invader Zim. I really just like this one. <laughs> but yeah, if you earn enough coins uh, consecutively, not only do you earn achievements for that, but you also unlock skins. So the, uh, the more expensive skins there, the 2,000 coins and the 2,500 coins, I haven't unlocked yet, obviously, because collecting coins is extremely tedious. That was dumb. Um, because one coin, or one of those coins is just one coin. It's not one equals five, or one equals ten, or anything. No, it's one coin equals one coin. So to collect 2,500 coins is extremely time-consuming. And that's something I want to spend my time doing, especially given the fact that by that time, you've already done all the achievements... Um, and it just becomes a tedious chore trying to get that many coins. But like I said, uh, Prison All Day X is an amazing game. It's a fun precision platformer. Tough as nails, challenging, sometimes irritating, um, but definitely a fun game to play. And uh, I want to thank uh, Red Light Games for the opportunity. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. As always, like I said, take care and have a game.